and that was probably one of the coldest, most miserable nights I've spent in the woods, guys. Mom's dropping me off, everybody. Just taking my car, hope she won't wreck it. Our first camp out off of the homestead for 2021. There goes mom in the envoy. I won't see her until the morning. Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> We're not even a hundred yards in yet. I think that counts as a fall. So this is what I'm walking through at the moment. but I still have the road over my shoulder. Not that far away from the road yet. I need to find a spot to camp. I need to get water and I need to collect wood for a fire. I think I actually found the back of the lake. I've never walked back here before. Check these old beaver chews out. These are really old. Make sure I get all the sticks up, but I want to try to leave the pine bedding down for something of a padding tonight. So this is where we're gonna do it. Uh, yeah. All right. My most important thing right now is getting firewood gathered up. That's what I need to get on to. So let's take a look at what we brought because I need to get into my bag to get my water filter out. I need a drink. So I've got my jean jacket, 
long sleeve tee, leather gloves. My dickies and my cotton thermals under those. I've got my Whoopi hoodie, and I have my cotton thermals for sleeping in tonight. Uh, this is just food. My med kit, this is my catheter supply because I live with a spinal cord injury. It's been to show up right before I was leaving the house, and it's my new BRS stove. We'll be trying this out in the morning. I wasn't originally going to bring it because if I didn't, that keeps me at like seven items for tonight. So we have my cook cup. Brought out my Moore Kneeve companion for today. I wanted to keep things really light and really basic. Um, my water filter and it, my fire kit, my first aid kit, my dude wipes that are part of my med kit, black trash, black plastic trash bag for to put my uh, bag in tonight while I'm sleeping. And then I brought my ranger roll. So let me get this untied. Okay, my ranger roll. I saw this from Real Big Monkey. This is a pretty good survival idea. And I've got some long distance hikes that I want to get into this year. This doubles as a shelter and a sleep system, so how can you beat that, right? And I made my own modification. So I will link his video in the description below. You guys can go check it out. Uh, this one is my version. I did the exact same thing, except I added my uh, I added an air mattress to the inside of it, um, and that's because I live with a spinal cord injury. I cannot chance um, being cold laying on the ground. And while this has a reflective heat blanket in it, I want a little bit more security. So this is our shelter. This is our sleeping bag tonight. This is camp. Can you see this little this little dirt patch? That's a slide. Like from beavers or muskrat. There are air bubbles. Or that's what those air bubbles are there out under the ice from them diving under the ice. That's awesome. a really good it worked out better than I thought I thought I was gonna have to get my whole hand wet now what I'm gonna do with this because it is gonna get below freezing tonight is I'll put my water filter inside of a plastic bag and I'll keep that on me so it doesn't freeze some really good water. I love this filter. Blow the water out of your filter. Bag it. Now you do run a risk of bacteria growing in the bag and contaminating the water, but that's a risk you're going to take. Take my water filter, I got an internal pocket in this jacket, put it in that pocket. And in normal fashion, when I started my fire, I wasn't recording. So this one wasn't fancy, I'm not messing around, I just used a cotton ball with Vaseline. Let's go ahead and take a quick second and talk about the Ranger Roll and what is inside of mine. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so I've got my Army Poncho. I've got a heavy duty emergency grabber blanket. And then I've got my 
Wooby, my poncho liner. And then there's the bottom fold of the grabber emergency blanket. And then underneath it here, I know you guys can't see it real well, but this, I've got my Rhino Tough uh, sleep pad. Okay? And this is supposed to act like a emergency shelter and sleep system all in one. Oh, and then what I did different with mine also is down here at the end, I have my end all bunched up and tied off like a mummy bag. So that I don't have as much of a, a draft coming through the bottom. Okay, it is coffee time. I need a coffee. It is getting cold out here. It's getting a little dark. I brought something very special for you guys and for me. My grandpa got me a very awesome Christmas gift this year. I have not had this in a while. And this is one of my favorite coffees. We have got some Valhalla Java Odin Force blend from Death Wish Coffee with us tonight. This shit is amazing. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. We say it's not camp until there's coffee. Now there's coffee. Oh, that's some good shit. That coffee is just hard to put down. like long pieces as long as you're safe about it um they will only burn so far it's not like the whole log is going to take off and catch on fire you know what i mean put myself in a survival situation tonight guys for real okay like i have food i have water i'm 25 yards away from a lake i've got plenty of firewood to get me through the night i've got my fire but all i have for shelter and for warmth really is my my ranger roll here uh that's it guys i don't have a whole setup like uh, a tarp behind me there's can i do the night and bringing all my friends was the next best thing Well, it is 7.30 in the morning, and that was probably one of the coldest, most miserable nights I've spent in the woods, guys. That was... That was a very brutally cold night. And I was struggling to keep my fire going. I'd pass out for an hour to wake up. It'd be damn near out.
Did you guys hear that? I didn't think there was turkey in these woods. I thought I heard him once this morning, but I wasn't sure if it was a turkey or a dog, because there was another sound on top of it, like a car horn. Hmm. You know, it would work in a pinch. It got down to 28 degrees last night. I need to get me one of those little like keychain thermometers to carry around. A wool blanket might have been warmer, but uh, definitely a lot heavier. My only real complaint was the condensation factor. This is a good test. It's definitely a viable option if it's slightly warmer out. If it's not below freezing. Making her way out because mom is on her way. So how did my body handle being in that kind of cold last night? Because while we did that with the Zen Bivy at 15 degrees, this was not a sub-freezing rated sleep system. I'm feeling it in my knees a lot this morning. My knees hurt, my hips are sore, uh, my lower back is kind of feeling it, and I am definitely not moving as well as I normally do. CI standpoint, spinal cord injury standpoint, might have been a dumb idea. Had I not had that fire going, I would have been in trouble last night. It was entirely too cold to not have the fire last night. And there was twice that I woke up, had to sit by it, warm up, crawl back in and go to sleep. And then I had to wake up and restart at once. Now, I want to kind of start offering up a little bit of a I want to start offering up some information as far as how this affects my body because with me having a spinal cord injury and the conditions that I put myself through um, there's a lot of medical information or medical pertinent information um, that could go along with what I'm doing so at the end of my videos, like we're about to do, I'm going to start throwing these little tidbits out there. Um, I had an issue with my feet getting cold that night. Uh, so when I got back home and I finally started warming up, I, my legs went into something of an experience that I never had before. My leg muscles were just firing super rapidly and I had some really intense muscle spasms going on. Uh, not necessarily painful, but very intense uh, muscle spasms. So uh, I, really, I think that was my body's reflex in response to the kind of cold that I was dealing with. Even though I've been out in colder temperatures, I've tolerated colder temperatures, um, my body has tolerated... It was just the way that I got cold that night, I think, to, is what the, the difference was. So, um, for any medical professionals watching this, uh, guys, that's... 
I was fine while I was out. I, my legs stayed functional, um, but when I got home and I started getting warmed back up, uh, my leg muscles were just firing really fast, spasming out real hard. Uh, like I said, not painful, but it was happening. So there we go. That's what happened. That's what my experience was through this whole process. We are going to be testing my body and gear in this way uh, throughout the rest of the year. So make sure you guys subscribe, hit that like button, follow along, and I will see you all on the next one. Find your way.